Welcome back. We're currently doing two things at the moment. Checking out these coma cases that have happened around all over the place. Seems to be around 5 to 5.30 that uh, loads of people just passed out. It seems to be that someone did it rather than the fog. That's pretty much as far as we've got, really. There's a bell. A bell that we heard as well. But we're also doing search for the lost cat. Like we searched for the lost cat, went through loads of different steps. We need to find Quint and we need to find him. So, there he is. <laughs> Sometimes a relaxing shopping trip is just the ticket. Sorry, can we have a moment? Are you Quint from the Liberal Orbital Ship Company? Huh? Yeah, that's me. Can I help you with something? Yeah, if you've got a sec. There's something we wanted to ask. Still explain that she was looking for a wheat-coloured cat. Searching for a lost cat, huh? Must be extra hard on a night like this of all the fog. Sorry to say, I can't help. I haven't seen anything like that cat around here. Really? You haven't seen her? Yes, we're on ADS herself that I haven't seen the cat. She's heard about it second hand. Second hand from whom? Zosimov. From the same clue. I think he said something about seeing a cat when he was working at the airfield. If you want, I'm sure he'd be happy to provide more details. He should still be on the clock. At the landing port, right? And now we have to turn right back around. It's not that far. Walk first, complain later. We need to find Zosimov. Yes, let's go. Isn't he at the bar? Zosimov said that he saw that cat while he was out on the job. If you want the details, ask him in person. He's probably still at the dock. I'm sure we saw him at the bar. He's gone. He was here. He definitely was there. I remember seeing him. Where has he wandered off to? I mean, if he was down there. Where has he wandered off to? Hey guys, were we able to find Quint? Sosimov should be around the dock somewhere. I say somewhere, but I haven't actually seen Sosimov lately. Hmm. You're looking for Zosimov? I think Zosimov should be around here somewhere. Oh, don't give up. Uh, have a look around. I wonder if he's like on the lower levels or something. Honestly, don't see him at all. Where could he have gone? I think I'm like, is, is he? He's just hiding? I don't know. How strange. Hmm. Maybe up at the top? I'm trying to catch another one of those, see what happens. Blueberry muffin. Chirp, 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 chirp. One's called Blueberry Muffin. Just gonna see if I can get another one. Jam. Hmm. I didn't know I could catch them and they got funny names. Blueberry Muffin. Weathercock. Yeah, so we're looking for... What's his name? I doubt you'll be in here, but... We could have a scout around, aren't we? Just have a scout around. Maybe the church. No. Where's he gone? Most interesting, because if he's not... Where would he go? Like, he was here. He was definitely here. Hmm. That's, 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 that's very wobbly in my... My understandings of things, because it's like, where, 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 where have you gone, mate? Where have you gone? Right back until I find him, really, and like save us some time because I'm going to check everywhere, really. So, you know, want to be sure. There he is. He, he is in the port area. He's just hiding by this tree. It's really hard to see in the fog. Ah, so relaxing. Seriously. 
Oh, who have we here? You're Zosimov, right? We've been looking for you. What on earth are you doing over here? Isn't it obvious I'm spending a relaxing evening in the woods? Sort of. You see, when you're on a ship all the time, you begin to long for greenery. So sometimes I just like to kick back and relax among the trees like this. Yeah, of all the forests in Roland, this is clearly the best place to get some greenery. Sure, why not? Well, for better or worse, we found Zosimov. Let's hurry and finish our business. Yeah, gladly. So, uh, we did want to ask you a few things. Oh, uh, ask away. Stella explained that she was looking for a wheat-colored cat. Ah, looking for a cat. We heard from Quint that you saw one. I certainly did. It's just a bit past noon today. I was offloading some luggage from the ship's hold. Quite an annoying critter, making a fuss and meowing constantly. The ship's hold, uh, okay. Wait, so the cat was inside the ship? Well, ship's hold can't mean too much else, can it? I suppose the ship could try to hold the cat another way, but I doubt that that it end well for the cat or the ship. Ah, but of course, inside the Cecilia. It's no wonder our search was fruitless. Our quarry is in one place we did not search. <laughs> Quite. And that makes the rest simple. We just need to search the ship. Shouldn't take long, yeah. Well, thanks for everything, Zosimov. Glad to be of help, but... W what do? Huh? Are we missing something? That's what it sounds like. Uh, what's wrong? It's just... Let me ask again to be sure. You're looking for a wheat-colored cat, yes? Yeah, we... Oh, no way. Ah, uh, you've guessed. Yes, you're looking for a wheat-colored cat, but... The cat I saw was black as pitch. <laughs> An excellent punchline. I'm sorry, the relevance of that detail didn't strike me until just now. I'm certain there's a cat on board, however. But I'll take a look anyway. Perhaps your cat has taken a tar bath or gotten covered in soot somewhere along the way. That's a good point. There's an off chance it's still Arl. Hmm, I... Somehow I doubt it, but I feel like it's... It's going to be that case of, like, maybe or lead us to in the right direction. That kind of thing. Yes, that's true. We have no other clues, so we might as well follow this one. That black cat may also be a friend to Arl. We should investigate. In fact, Shadow. In fact, exactly is what I meant to say. Quite. Let us take flight, then. Take flight? It's flight? How do you... Who are you on about? Hey, keep going. No reason to stop now. Best of luck to you. Is it just me? Or has this music made me speak differently? Do you feel like I'm speaking more softly for some reason? Feels like it's night time. Strange. Hmm? There's something up. You got out rather late. Your braces seem to have it awfully rough as well. We all do right now. But that aside, we have a favor we'd like to ask you. Oh, and uh, what would that be? We'd like to search inside the Cecilia. Wait, so... We want to go inside the Cecilia, in the cabin? Uh, yeah? Well, I can't okay that so easily. You need to give me a reason. Um, well... Still explain the course of events and the results of the investigations and conveyed that there was a possibility that the cat might be on the ship. I see. A cat on board. Afraid I can't give permission to board on my own, however. I'm really sorry, but we'll have to leave now. Um... What? I didn't expect to get told off. Told off nothing. I can't allow what I can't allow. Company policy, no exceptions. Begging won't get you anywhere. Uh, just head on home. For the love of... Guess we have no choice. Dude was a bit of a prick about it, though. It's like, yeah, okay, I, I agree. Company policy, you can't go on board, but... You don't have to be so abrasive about it with the go on home. I'm not quite done yet. Now... Why are you being so hard-headed, hmm? What? 
What the? Oh, yeah. Now, why don't you think about it long and hard? The Caterini is on board. That's trouble for you, too, isn't it? What happens if it ruins the sea? Wouldn't that be a tragedy? Oh, well, that, that, that is... Uh, yeah, sure. But, 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 but I, 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 I mean, I, mean I, I can't let you in without permission. Don't worry about that. We won't cause any problems. Just let us in for a little bit. So what do you say? You'll do it for me, won't you? Uh, windings? Shanna, using your asses like a weapon like that is just so, uh... Something. Oh, my envy is fathomless. Dot. 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 So, do we have an understanding? Oh, uh, I, 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 I guess. But I, 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 oh man, this could get me. Uh, look, just for a minute, okay? I never tell anyone, uh, uh, anyone about any of this. <laughs> of course. Okay, there. Getting quick. Hurry up and look inside the ship. Video smite me. I'm pretty much ready to get fired over this. Oh dear, oh dear. Wow, it's really dark in here. You know, all the orbital lights are out. Even in the darkness, however, I can feel the hum of energy from the passengers. Yes, it's a little creepy, to be honest. Feels like something's waiting to leap out at us from the dark. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd conquered your fear of ghosts. That's enough ghost talk, thanks. Come on, let's find this freaking cat and get out of here. Shall we? We don't want to keep that poor maintenance worker waiting. Well, I've got to check that. Be right back. Right, okay. So it's Nya Go, which means... This way. One guide. Hey. What's that? Okay, that's Nya... Repeat three letter, three letter Nya and Go. It's been a while. How have you been? There you are, I'll... Oh, you silly kitty. You always do stuff like this. Wheat colored fur. Just like we'd heard. This must be our cat. Thank goodness. He looks okay. You little troublemaker. We ended up walking all over the place thanks to you. What are you doing hiding in here anyway? Meow. Okay, meow. Right, what did you just say, oh hairless one? Cute little kitty sound. Like meow. Okay, meow. Meow. Ooh, it's like I'm hungry. Apparently, that's kitten talk. Hmm. Ah, oh, look at the oh, there's two kitties. Three kitties. What? Uh, kittens. But aren't they adorable? They look like newborns too. Gave birth to them here? Actually, that makes a lot of sense. She was trying to find the safest place for her children. Yeah, but did she have to get on the ship? Oh, whatever. Let's go report. Yes, let's. I'm sure Ida will be quite happy. It's the kitty. Yeah, there's two on the bed lot and there's one in the bathroom. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, what a surprise. Alls up and become a mother. <laughs> we were just as surprised as you. Didn't see that coming, not one bit. Both mother and children appear to be healthy. Raise them with care. Why, but of course. They're as precious to me as grandchildren. Now comes the real challenge. I need to come up with the perfect name for each and every one of them. I'm sure their names will be adorable. No problems there, leave it to me. Oh, and one last thing before you go. <laughs> it simply wouldn't do to have you on your way just yet. Uh, did you need something else? 
Mm-hmm. This is the second time you've helped me. Yeah. It's only right for you to take this. It's something I've used often when playing. It's very calming. Oh, neat. Thanks, we appreciate it. Well then, please take care on your way home. Now on. Now on. Goodbye. I'm hungry, I know that one. I'm learning kitty speak. I'm hungry. Uh, cock. Okay, that's one case cleared up. Now we need to get back to our real job. Indeed, the sleeping require our aid. Maybe go forth at once. Let's do it. Yay. I need to check on the kitties though, because obviously I need to check on the kitties at the bottom, aren't they? Can't speak to the kitties. Is that, is that different because it's got the two... Is that, oh, that's... Hello. Apparently. I wonder if I've got that in my list of them. Because I, I need... I still need for a video I plan to do on the... You know, the books and all that type of stuff. I, I need all the kitty talk I can get for that book. You know. Just to make sure it looks right. Hmm. I wonder what kind of names would be good. I'm just not sure. Very well. Okay, so where were we in our search? I think we just needed to do here, wasn't it? I think. Check in the other room first. Luke fell into a deep slumber. And stimulants aren't having any effect on him. It's worrying. He's such a close friend of Pat, so I understand why he feels the need to stay by his side, but... That's my only son, you know? I don't know what I'll do if the same thing happened to him. Luke fell into a deep slumber. Pat went off her to go check on him a little bit ago. Right about Pat, he's my only son, you know. Pat went to Ashton's for today. Doesn't want to leave Luke's side for even a moment. I don't want to tear him away from his friend, so I asked Maggie to take care of him for now. I know how he feels. It can't hurt to let him stay out a little longer than usual. Pat doesn't want to leave Luke's side for even a moment. I don't want to tear him away from his friend. Like, yeah, that's good, that's good. Estelle. Oh, dearie me. Estelle Bright, look at you. A senior bracer and everything. Um, good evening. We, um, heard about Luke. Um, uh... Estelle? Estelle? Aww. Oh, hey, Pat, is it that bad? Well, you see, our little Pat is the one who found Luke after he collapsed. Oh, no. Pat, don't worry, it'll... it'll be okay. Aww. Maggie, how is your grandson? Is he hurt? What? N no, no, not at all. He's just sound asleep. Really, I think this is all a bit of a fuss. It'll be right as rain tomorrow, I'm sure. This little rascal just wore himself out. Like boys do, you know? Really? I'm not waking up? Foolish. Foolish. Maggie. Hey, uh, Pat. Can you tell us what happened when Luke fell asleep? Huh? We're investigating what happened on behalf of the mayor. On behalf of the town. But if there's anything you can tell us, it might help us solve this and wake Luke up. Please, Pat. Still. Okay, I'll... I'll tell you. Thanks, Pat. So where and when did Luke fall asleep? Um, I wasn't there when he fell asleep, but I found him on top of the clock tower. I think it was just past five. We are playing hide and seek in the fog. I was it and uh, I was looking for Luke. When I found him, he was asleep. Thought he was just being a jerk and tried to wake him up, but... But he wasn't. I see. Oh, wait, well, one thing I still... Uh, one thing I don't see. Who the heck carried Luke down from the clock tower? Oh, that was Mr. Paddington. He came up and found us just when I was trying to figure out what to do. Then he came up to make sure the clock was working and the fog wasn't causing any problems. Uh, yeah, that's just like Mr. Paddington. 
Hey, I think I've got the gist of it. Pat, I was wondering. When you were playing, did anything strange happen? Strange? Did you see anyone you didn't recognize, hear any strange sounds? Like Estelle said, anything could help. Um, I don't remember much, except all the, the white of the fog. I do remember thinking it was really creepy not seeing anyone at the landing port. I see, hmm. The creepy fog aside, nothing really suspicious happened. Nuts. Seems that way. Thank you, both of you. You've given us some food for thought. I'm glad we could be of help, dearly. Stella, Stella, uh, uh, is Luke going to be okay? Yeah. You bet he will. But don't cry anymore, okay? Luke will tease you if he finds out when he wakes up, you know? Uh, okay. Yeah, I won't cry anymore. Hmm. Well, Luke is a little ruffian. I swear that boy never runs out of energy. I'm sure he'll be up and about by morning. I'm sure he'll be running out. About even finishing breakfast, as always. Aww. Stan, I'm not going to cry anymore. I can't show Luke any tears, right? Good kids, good kids. No, I expected a little scene to happen when we came out here. But I'm thinking we shall end this part here. Just gonna check here first. Orange juice. Sharp. Yes. Just, 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 just. Like that talk at the end there. I just wanna see if I can. It's milk. They're just the four of them. That last one. I don't think I can get the one that was on the edge sort of thing. Well, anyway. We're going to end this part here. In the next part, we'll return to Bracer Gildan. See if we can put the clues together and see what's going on. Like I said, I, I believe it was someone that was taking advantage of the fog. Rather than the fog itself that's caused it. Because like I said, it's this all around the same time, but not at the exact same time. And it's not everyone. But that's extremely suspicious. So, we'll see you in the next part. Tot off for now.